All right, wake up. Welcome back to more night in the woods. Another crazy dream last night. All right, let's shake it off and continue on with our day. Hey, got a call from Mrs. Miranda. Apparently, she's upset that we messed up with her. her that we messed up her basement. Whatever. She didn't pay us to clean it up. I'm at work all day. Just saying. If you want to say hello, I'm here to be helloed at. <laughs> Hey, boyo. At work all day. Very bored. Work sucks. Crap falcon more like it. <laughs> Don't these people ever get a day off? They're just working these these kids to death, right? <clears throat> eh. Alright. Now let's see if Dad actually moved those boxes. Uh, nothing to say about the painting. Cool. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Go in the door. No, they're still here. Dad, what are you doing? Pick up these boxes. Alright. I wondered if you can learn to talk to birds. Okay. <laughs> are you saying you want to talk to birds, or do you want the bird to talk to the birds? Probably the former. Yeah. <laughs> uh, morning. Long night? Why does our mom have, like... She's like... She doesn't look too happy right now. Yeah, I went to work with B. Oh, are you going to work there? No, Mom, I was just tagging along. Though I was, like, really useful. Mm-hmm. It was a new and exciting feeling. Mm-hmm. You okay? Yeah, just been doing boring adult stuff. I mean, that it really, do, it, it really is taxing on you. What kind of adult stuff? I'm adult stuff. Just, like, budget, bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood is, is number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. Oh, I remember. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna head out. Mm-hmm. Have a nice day. Oh, I'm sorry, mom. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Oh, that's. I mean, you can't really blame her, because being an adult is pretty taxing. Although it doesn't give her the right to just kind of be snarky at us. Oh well, what can you do? Looks like it's getting close to Halloween. Look at the uh, the pumpkins outside the the doors. People are decorating. Now I could just be unobservant. They're already there to begin with. Totally, what's up, Summers? <laughs> totally, what's up? You know what's good? Off the top of my head. Excuse me. Not seriously injuring someone during your first kiss at senior prom? Uh, <laughs> I like this one. Um, I was gonna say the fruit snack, those fruit snack thingies. We used to eat in grade school. Oh right, those, those things are really good. Did that other thing happen to you? Nope. Don't lie. Wanna hear a new poem? Yeah, let's hear one more. Sometimes I like fruit snacks out by the train tracks. Decent. A juice box and headphones. I enter the juice zone. Jeez, those things are all I want now. You made them sound so real. I can taste the atomic dino snacks in the blue clear squeezer. Thanks. Okay. I think Mr. Chazikov's up there again. Cool. Oh, really? He's going to fall right on, on his stoop one day. Okay, you got more to say? <laughs> nope, don't bring that up. I can see the water tower from my back window. Seen a fire up there the other night. Wonder who, who was up there? Dunno. Actually, we probably see Mr. Chazikov. You're gonna make my dog anxious. And she poops a lot when she's anxious. Ew. Alright, let's go see Mr. Chazikov, actually. Be nice to see, uh, not falling. Be nice to see, uh, some, uh, more constellations. So let's get up there. Actually, I'll just meet you up on the roof. You see me do all this song and dance. All right, here we are. Mayborowski. Yep, it's me up here on my roof. Yep, come to hunt some dust stars. Definitely, come have a look. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I'm excited about this. Oh no! Our eyes again. Filter. Ugh. Gonna blind us to death. Jeez. All right, where are we looking now? Can uh, can we see the other uh, constellations while we're here? Here we go. First one. Found one, found one, found one. Let's have a look. Whoa. 
Sterling the Seer. How come I've never heard of these guys? Eh. By the time they got to these uh, rare stars, the well-known myths and legends were taken. Oh. This one. Sterling is a tale of the world changing and leaving one behind. Uh, these are all going to be bummers, huh? That is not for me to say. It is a bad thing for uh, the world to move on. Well, I mean, this guy probably doesn't think so. Either way, one day his king met a new sage, an astronomer. And she showed the king how the planets and stars orbit in regular patterns and why. And the king kicked Sterling out of his quarters. For the seer and long, and long told the king a different story about the stars. Uh, did Sterling believe his own story? I believe he did. Well, that's how things go. Is there no responsibility to care for those who, whose labors, even one's universe, are suddenly replaced with a new one? Are they obsolete? Uh, that's how life is. So you believe that some should go hungry and without homes because they are no longer useful to those in power? Well, jeez, Mr. Chazkov, when you put it that way. <laughs> the stars, they make one think. Yeah, they do. I love stars. I think, uh, oh yeah, we can, uh, we can see them. Uh, I forget his name. I think it was like Dor. I think it was Dor. Um, looking at constellations is is really nice. I, one day I would love to uh, just just go ahead and look at constellations. Boom! Found one. Let's see. Whoa. Ah uh, yes, yeah, Simon the Fighter. She got a gun. Oh Simone. I'm sorry. Simone lived in a good land. But under every good land are the roots of oppression, and in this land those roots took hold, and choked out all else. That was poetic, Mr. Chazikov. Thanks. I was just reading the summary off my phone. <laughs> oh. We may not have the have signal, but we have Wi-Fi. Anyway, when the borders closed and the curfew began, oops, Simone and her comrades began to plot. They infiltrated, they sabotaged, they freed prisoners. Very nice. Simone was one of the first to be identified, but she evaded capture even as uh, the wanted posters went up. As whispers of her grew throughout the land, more and more of her neighbors uh, prayed in the night that Simone would be their salvation. Uh, was she? Or, uh, that's a lot of pressure for one person. We'll get this one. She was not alone, of course. She was but one part in a growing organism, but she became a symbol. It is difficult to think of many things, so sometimes having a symbol for all, all of them is important. Like numbers. We do not know where Simone is buried. Ah, uh, gosh dang it, I knew this wasn't going to be happy. We do not know when things boiled over. She led a charge against the palace gates, and uh, behind those gates were cannons. Oh no. Many years later, when the mask rays were ex ex exhumed, don't think I've ever heard that word in my life, her bones were mixed with so many others. It's, it was said that she, was, she now lives on, in the bones of all in her country. Jeez, that got dark and sad and spooky. <laughs> This, that is history. That's both of them for today. Neato! Alright, that was fun. Wow, that was pretty great. Come by again. Couple days. We shall hunt the stars. Bahaha. <laughs> yeah, we will. Are you an astrologer or something? The world is astronomer, and I am but an amateur. You know a lot for someone who wasn't paid to, to know about it. That is one of the saddest sentences I've ever heard. <laughs> Sorry. Come back in a couple days. We'll cram some stars into that head of yours. Will do. Alright, Sterling and Simone. Neato. How neat is that? Again, <laughs> constellations are super cool. I love it. Who's this? Oh, we can't talk to her. Okay. That's sad. I wanted to. But oh well. We'll just keep going. Now once again, we are going to hang out with B tonight again. Sorry for Greg. Uh, we'll take care of you some other time. Let's go down here. Wife long gone. Kids don't care. Tunnel fish are always there. Haha, <laughs> yeah, man. Please don't listen. <laughs> I mean, maybe you should watch your back. Can I steal another pretzel already? I bet some rabbits would love a delicious pretzel. Yeah, they would. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take it. Bah, got it. You are super dumb for not being able to see us, honestly. 
I'm slightly judging. You're looking right at us, holding a pretzel. I don't understand. <laughs> and maybe he's just like, he's just like, ah, oh, whatever. This is unfairly easy now. It does get easier with uh, each time you do it, though. That's cool. All right, can we talk to you again? Hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. How are you feeling today? Oh, I feel damp in the cold down down here, but it's in my it's in my bones wherever I go. So no harm. Did you want to talk about Granddad? Oh yes. Where was I? Uh, troublemakers in my family. Right. Back then there were places that brought us all together, or at least brought us together in bits and bobs. The old Smokies, and Grand Bears, the Lodge of Old, the Church and the Union. There'd be dances up at the at the HB. That's where I met your granddad. Oh, a lifetime ago. What was he like back then? Plain in most respects. Prone to fits of melancholy. But funny and wild when the occasion called. Surprising is, I guess, the word. Hmm. What'd your daddy say about him? Uh... Strict but nice? Nah. <laughs> strict is funny. Why? Uh, hello? <laughs> you alright, Miss Rosa? Oh, yes. Let's talk another time. Okay. Hope you're feeling better. Oh, May. Oh, dear May. Sorry, you just died. What? I, why are you... I don't know. You're weird, Miss Rosa. Anything new right here? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Alright. Let's, uh, let's go to church, why don't we? Alrighty. Is Mom feeling any better? I hope she is. Mommy, I'm here. Talk to me. We'll go in there in a bit. Uh-oh, she still looks a little upset. Hey, Mom. Can't talk today. Lots to do. Really? What could possibly be going on? Well, sweetie, so we have the town council here today. And after that, uh, after that, a 12-step program meeting in the basement. Oh, wow. And I'm doing both church budget and our budget at the same time. I'll leave you alone, then. Thanks, hon. Ah, uh, okay. Honey, I really do need to concentrate. <laughs> well, hope mommy feels better. Uh, we can't go in there for some reason. I'm really not sure why. I don't know if you ever can. I've never been there. If you can at one point. But you can right now, and that's a shame. I want to see the rest of the church. Exploring churches is fun, actually. Uh, ooh, what do we got here? He's very nice. Yeah, and he can be, like, the first. A trial run. Where would you put him? Oh, in the basement. Or in the old library? With all the books? He's not going to eat them. <laughs> Interesting proposal, Kate. Yes, thank you for bringing this to us. I look forward to us moving forward together on this. It will be brought up at the town council meeting. Oh, that's wonderful! Alright, troops, move out. <laughs> they move in a pack, huh? They're always together. Uh, how's things? Okay, weird dreams. Want to talk about it? Not really. I dreamed I was trapped in a wall. That's weird. Jeez. No, it was fine. I knew the rescue was rescue crew was coming in a few hour hours, and it was cozy, so I could take a nap guilt free. You feel guilty about naps? I do all the time, actually. Wish I didn't. How's that whole thing with Bruce going? I'm hopeful and positive. That sounds like what someone says when they're not. <laughs> it's fine, May. It's going fine. All right, all right. Well, don't lie to yourself. All right, let's go see Bruce. All right, and one more walk through this. And you can see the cemetery in the back. That's not creepy at all. Uh, cool. Is Bruce out here? Where's Bruce? Is he not here? Maybe he's at the edge of the edge of the cliff. Or in his tent? No, he's not here either. Where is he? Ah, there he is. I thought so. Seen a fire the tree through the trees last night. Past the these woods here. Weird noises. I just kept to myself, and they went away. Uh, that sounds spooky. Been ar been around a lot of places. Ain't spooked by much. But out past that water tower. Yeah, that's a place where teens hang out. Let's hope that's all it was. In my experience, strange fire and strange voices ain't never been good. I wonder if they'll ever, if they'll be back. Hope not. 
All right, let's uh, let's go feed our rat babies. It, I guess. <laughs> uh oh, this guy's yelling at me. That's no, it's no good. Oh, and the dog barking at me. He's cute though. Look at him. Could I get over here before? I don't think I could. That's strange. I don't think I could get over here before. But hey, that's neat. Uh, there's Lori. Let's go talk to Lori. Uh, let's go talk to Lori first. Well, actually, no. We're already here. Let's go ahead and just head in here. All right. Are there? Is there another rat baby? Are there four this time? All right, my little miracle rats. Time to eat. All right. One. Come on. <laughs> Grab the pretzel. Don't make this into a game. Yeah, there are four this time, so... Rat babies... Oh, come on. There you are. Wow, there's so many of you. Someday you won't need me anymore, and you'll leave. Will I even recognize you on the streets as we pass each other? <laughs> That's super sad. I love you, Miracle Rats. Aww. Maze, Maze the best, Mom. Alright. Let's go see what Lori has to say. Hey kid, what you up to? Hey adult, nothing. Sounds good. I was gonna go to the tracks. Did you wanna come? Sorry if that sounds boring. You don't have to go. It's okay. Haha, <laughs> geez, let me answer before you before you decide I said no. Oh, okay. Did you wanna go? Uh, yeah, I wanna go. Oh good, yeah, it'll be fun. Let's rock. I don't think I've ever done this, actually. So this sounds fun. Wow, been a while since I've been here. My house is like three minutes from here. Got the longest night lights, uh, night lights from last year still up. Haha, <laughs> someone on my street does that too. We got pumpkins last year and we left them out too long. And they, like, liquefied. Actually, that ex that's exactly the thing that happened to me. Uh, my, my mom left some pumpkins out in our yard and they just kind of died uh oh yeah i remember that happened with, with ours one year my mom was so mad at my dad it was his job to get rid of them he had to like mop it up ew i've seen like a time lapse video of when a corpse decays ew i don't think i'd ever want to see that and like everything liquefies we're all goo deep down yep okay so like a cool thing to do is squish a metal thing on the tracks i like that a lot cool I brought a little metal, dude. Let's see what happens. Sounds good, kid. Oh. Now I put I put um. Why are we? This seems a little dangerous. Uh, I was gonna say I put rocks on a on a train track before and have a train hit it. Nothing ha really happens when you do that, but uh, I come out here at night sometimes and fall asleep between the tracks. That sounds not good. You sh probably should not do that. Uh, that sounds dangerous. I feel excited and I can sleep. You ever have that? Where you're so excited you go to sleep? Um, no, not really, actually. Uh, I have uh, stress dreams if I'm too keyed up. I don't remember my dreams. Uh-oh. Uh, you uh, please move. Please move so you don't die. Sometimes I fall asleep for like five minutes. But sometimes it's for like an hour. That's some risky business there. Oh no, 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 please move. Don't just stand an inch away from the tracks. Stop it. <laughs> that is dangerous town, man. No thanks, please don't ever do that. <laughs> the train derails, you're done for. I have weird thoughts. Like sometimes I wanna go to sleep in the woods. I would love to do that, dude. Or in the basement of an abandoned house during the day. That would be cool too. And only come out at night and be like a monster. And like beautiful. Those are like really attainable dreams. Oh, haha. <laughs> I'm not beautiful. Oh, you're fine. No one your age likes how they look. I'm objectively gross. What? You're cute. Uh, way less gross than I was. Do you think? Guaranteed. Oh, stop it. Please move. You know, even if you do sit that close to the tracks. Oh! Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> I would kill myself. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Let's see what we got. Wow. 
Whoa! Yay! Your little metal guy is all... Wow! He, re he represents the human soul. This is important art. Ha ha ha. Well, I gotta get rolling. Okay, 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 okay. Let's roll. Yeah, kids, don't ever sit by the tracks like that. Especially not an inch away from the tracks when it's rolling by. Very dangerous. See ya! Cool. Alright, what do we got in the, the journal? That's not what I meant to do. Please go away. There we go. Lori M. Horror movies and trains. Alright, we got a little bit more time left in this episode. Uh, speaking as if I want to keep this episode going a little bit longer. Oh, come on. I want to go up there. Oh, come on. Can I not? Can I actually not get up there now? Wee. What? I, I, I literally done this before. Are you kidding me? What? Hang on. There we go. That should not be this hard. Except that they do give you like no room to run around. And it's all for nothing. Cool. That was fun. Alright, let's go on to the other side of town. Alright. Let's see Angus. Hey, May. Hey, Angus. How's video land? Good, good. Start of the Halloween rush. Got a pretty good horror section. Nice. You got a favorite? What, horror movie? I hate horror movies, by the way. Uh, Scythe Sabbath. That sounds better. Ooh, Italian. Yeah, they don't mess around. Pretty good, pretty, uh, pretty colors. Pretty everything. Well, I'll see you later. Bye. Thanks, Angus. All right, possibilities is still gone. Super sad. Hey, who are you? Hey, CJ? Yeah? You were like in high school when I was in, when I was in middle school. Oh, huh. Did I know you? I used to play nerd games with Tom Bramwell across the street from my house. <laughs> nerd games. That's quite a memory you got there. Do you live here, here anymore? Nah, just back visiting for nerd games. They were like pen and paper role playing stuff. Cool. But no, I'm just visiting family. Husband's driving down tomorrow. What do you do now? Lawyer. Oh, wow. Can I ask you some law stuff? Well, I'm not acting in a professional capacity. But yeah, sure. <laughs> What's the best way to rob a bank? That's not really legal advice. Legal is, is like law, laws, right? Uh, and bank robbing is a crime, right? And crimes are against the law. It's all related. I mean, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess just, you know, bandit mask and a gun? Yeah, it's been done. You know, we don't really learn this kind of stuff in law school. I feel like you should. What is the point of, like, going to college if you don't learn useful shit? Laws are pretty useful. Useful my ass, CJ. You were super rude. Sorry, welcome back and have a nice visit. Bye. Uh, see ya. <laughs> Super straightforward and upfront with people, huh? Sunny again, thank goodness. You gonna talk about smelters again? What's got you down? Uh, it's nothing. The smelters just lost, you know. <laughs> hey, uh. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, sure, go smelters. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh. Anything else over here? There's nothing over here. Cool. Uh, okay. Oh, I couldn't remember if that was my third jump or not. Okay, please make it across. <laughs> Don't make me climb all the way back up here. Alright. Uh, this guy's still here. Still reading his paper on the toilet, I guess. What's in the news? <laughs> he's, he's still answering. Not closing his blinds or anything. He's just answering this kid that's up on his roof. Quant Quantarex closing down next month, laying off the last 24 people. What's that? Plates out past Brittle. As assembles tiny computer doodads. Okay, yeah, someone I knew knew's mom worked there. Real small work, bad on the fingers after a while. I've had groceries for a while. How's that? You put the cold, heavy stuff on the bottom, and then the veggies and fruits and the bread on top. Well, looks like you got it all figured out. 
Yeah, I never did back groceries, but I did cashier for like a day. <laughs> Literally a day. So yeah, that was fun. Uh, okay, now let's head out to the edge of town. I don't even think that song's playing in over here. <laughs> hey, this is Germ again. Hey, Germ. Hey. Want to hang out? I don't know. I'm supposed to hang with Gregor B tonight. Jeez, I'm not asking you to run away and get married. <laughs> yes. Okay, what do you want to do? Follow me. Uh oh. What are we doing? Whoa, what the heck is going on here? We're here. We're in the parking lot. Yep. We walked for like 15 seconds. It's like really big here. I could throw a rock and hit where we were just standing. <laughs> you can see like all of the sky here. Oh wow, you can. It really is nice, pretty, pretty little pretty, isn't it? Okay, so seriously, we're just looking at the parking lot? Sometimes. Sometimes? Sometimes in the morning, if you're up on the hill back there, a whole bunch of fog passes over the lots, and it's like an ocean. And there's a herd of deer that comes through. And it's like magic. Wow. Why did we ever need this much parking? Stores. <laughs> there was the food donkey, and the old secondhand store, and the shoe store. There used to be a record store back here somewhere. All gone now, though. Yep, just a lot of asphalt, weeds, and broken glass. It's so pretty. I love it. It really is. Like, the nice things are really pretty, aren't they? The, the little things, it's, I should say. Uh, you know if they never do anything with this in a bunch of years, this is going to be like regular ground. What's going to happen to the parking lot? I mean, the parking lot part of... I mean, the parking lot part of the parking lot. What? Uh, nature's old. It, it waits you out. That's spooky. Okay, we're done. What? Let's go. Hey! <laughs> nice hanging out with you, I guess. So, I've been having... I have to go now. B bye Hang on, I want to see where he goes this time. Oh, he just heads back there. I can't follow him. But, uh... You know, he can. Because he can go through walls or something. Nice parking lot. And a nice... Sun? Is that a sun or a moon? I don't know. Probably sun, because it's a bit it's more daytime than anything. Alright. So that's was that was fun, I guess, right? Yeah, so uh, in the next episode, we're gonna hang out with B again. Should be a fun time. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.